Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to solve another question that was asked in the December 2023 chemistry paper of net exam. So this is the reactant that is given. So if I want to write down the name of this reactant, how do I write down? This belongs to silicon belongs to group 14. Okay, carbon also belongs to group 14. So CH4, if I want to write down the name, it is what? Myth. Okay, and then in methane. Similarly, if I want to write down the name for SiH4, what will be the name? Si for silicon. So we write sil, S-I-L, and then A-N-E. Okay, so what will be the name of this? Three methyl groups are present and this benzene ring. Benzene ring, when it is present as a substituent, we write it as phenyl. So what will be the name? M comes first of methyl and then phenyl. So the name of this is trimethyl phenyl silane. Okay, it is a derivative of silane. All the four hydrogens are replaced by other groups. Three hydrogens are replaced by three methyl groups, and one hydrogen is replaced by benzene ring. That is phenyl substituent. So what is the re reaction? Is we have to react it with bromine. That is we have to do bromination, and we have to write down the product. So this is based on a concept, this reaction is based on a concept called as Ipso substitution. So the first question that comes to our mind is what exactly is Ipso? Okay, so what is Ipso is it is derived from the Latin word that is called that is the meaning of it is itself. Itself means same site as that occupied by the SIR3 group. So the substituent is present at one carbon that particular position is called as ipso okay the carbon that they have shown in black where the substituent is attached that is called as ipso next to that is ortho this is also ortho then it is meta this is also meta and this we know it is para so what is exactly is the meaning of ipso substitution is substitution at the ipso position is called ipso substitution substitution at the ipso position that is the carbon containing the substituent here it is x okay so that is nothing but called as ipso substitution so in this compound if i want to find if i tell you to identify the ipso position it will be sime3 is the substituent that is attached to this carbon so this if i highlight this is going to be the ipso position Okay, so let us try to understand the mechanism of this reaction. So from where this is taken, this question was asked directly from Clayden. Okay, the book written by author, that name of author is Clayden. So this is a reactant. So what exactly happens is here you can see first the electron, electron rich pi electrons will attack electron deficient electrophile and then what exactly happens is there is a carbocation intermediate that is formed. Okay, so we, the question is why this carbocation intermediate is stable? Okay, and then this carbocation intermediate nucleophile why it attacks silicon we'll see in a moment and the final product is this. So where the, subs the substituent was present that is primethyl silyl group that is substituted by another electrophile. Okay, that is substituted by some other group E. Okay, so if I want to write down the mechanism for the given uh, reactant, how it will happen, let us see that. Benzene, silicon, to silicon there are three methyl groups that are attached. So, one important concept that you have to remember is, if we see group 14 elements, carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead, from silicon onwards, all the elements have a vacant d orbital. Okay, why I am telling you, we will see in a moment. So, the first step will be, it reacts with bromine. So, one uh, bromine will be more electronegative, another will be less electronegative. Okay, pi electrons is electron rich, so it will attack electron deficient Br and one bromide will go away as a good living group so what we will get is we will get a carbocation 
this is the carbocation that will be formed here i have added br okay and then there is a si me 3 group okay this has a vacant d orbital okay two other pi bonds remain as it is now the question is why this carbocation is stable so this is the reason for the stability of the carbocation so here if you see carbon silicon here there are two electrons this orbital containing the two electrons of the carbon silicon bond it is exactly aligned with the vacant p orbital we know carbocation is sp2 hybridized so it has a vacant p orbital so these electrons can be directly transferred or donated to the to the vacant p orbital of the carbocation so this is the reason for the stability so as soon as these electrons are donated what is the next step in the mechanism we have removed br minus here right so that br minus what at that will do is this is electron rich so this will donate electron density to silicon okay vacant d orbital of silicon and when this happens the exact sigma star this will break like this okay electrons are donated to the vacant p orbital of the of the carbocation so what will happen is the final product will be here there is br okay and what is a byproduct silicon three methyl groups and one br this is a byproduct so this is the final product so now if i write down the overall reaction it will be very clear this okay the product is bromobenzene so you can see this sime3 group at the ipso position okay is substituted by br that is a, this is called as substitution ipso substitution ipso substitution what is the meaning of ipso it means itself it is a latin word that means itself so what will be the correct answer option 1 okay i hope you have understood the mechanism why the carbocation is stable stable because the electrons the orbital containing the electrons of carbon silicon bond is exactly aligned or the orbital is perfectly aligned with the vacant p orbital that is the reason for stability of the carbocation okay so the correct answer is option 1 thank you